Now we'll go to uh, the presentation of new project and new products on our side. Yeah. So today our goal is to announce the new four quadrant pH amplifier that we actually were uh, producing at Opal RT. This is a new product that will uh, get out this year. Okay. So in in the same package, what we aim is to have two five kilowatts three phases module per two U box. So here you see uh, the the final products, and actually you see on the aft section. So when you uh, will provide this uh, new products, you can have it it in two different configuration, either the uh, three phases five kilowatts, or you can have double that to have uh, six phases that you can put in parallel if you need it. Um, so this new amplifier will have uh, over lower short circuit and over temperature protection. It's a full four quadrant pitch aisle. Uh, it's based for power grids, motor and DER application. So it could go to the range of the AC and DC. So in DC, it can go up to uh, the 500 VDC uh, voltage. And for the AC side, it can go to uh, a 120 or 208 VRMS configuration up to four, uh, 14 amps per phases. Uh, the bandwidth that we actually test is like gun goes to the DC to 100 kilohertz with a total uh, harmonic distortion of 0.5%. Uh, person. Uh, the what is really interesting about this uh, amplifier is like we also incorporate the voltage and current measurement from uh, for like all each phases. Um, that's helped a lot because we have some amplifier that actually doesn't have those measurements. So we need to uh, add some uh, high speed measurement to sense the voltage and current to give the full PHI loopback. Uh, in this case, everything is done inside the box and we can output that uh, with the fiber optics connection to our simulator. So uh, in the front of the uh, this new amplifier, we have like a, a short of, uh, of uh, connection. We have SFP, we'll have like optic links, which is like a little bit slower, but uh, this is give us option for uh, future use. We have RG45 because there is actually a controller inside as well. Um, it won't, won't be released this year, but since we have like power capability for simulation inside this amplifier, we have the idea maybe to have some uh, model inside this uh, amplifier in the upcoming years, maybe add like a, some DER. So if you have more than one amplifier in your grid, you can have your main simulator to simulate the grids and controlling this amplifier remotely with SFP, but you can have other of those amplifier on the same uh, buses and have individual DER modeling inside the FPG that would be autonomous compared to the uh, to the main NIST simulator. So after that, you have like other type of connections since we have this capabilities of having uh, simulation power inside the amplifier. So we can have serial port as well. Uh, and yeah. I think the main biggest aspect of this new amplifier is like we, uh, we output the, the three phases but as well, we have direct access to the DC voltage. So the goal is um, in some topology, when we have more than one amplifier, this uh, amplifier will have the capability to share the DC bus as well uh, on multiple uh, 4Q amplifier. So with this kind of topology, we would like to improve and actually have a lower cost reduction on giving like solution for um, like microgrid or smart grid application where more than one amplifier uh, would be in use by sharing the DC bus. So you can have like uh, circulating power between each amplifier. Let's say you have the grid that feeding energy to a battery, like you can recirculate by behind the DC bus. So the configuration will be go like to a fully like an autonomous uh, ampl amplifier or can sh uh, also have like I would call them slave to the DC bus, other uh, other amplifier. So we have some spec, and uh, so we already talked about the those spec. Uh, so the the uh, the most important spec will be the bandwidth. So we really designed this amplifier to uh, for the uh, the grid application, the motor application can go up to 10 kilohertz. Uh, 
really fast. And then we have like 500 watts, which is like a power factor that in this small factor is really good. We don't have any other um, other amplifier supplier that can do that. And we aim to release the, the whole amplifier on Q3 of this year. So this is all for the, the new amplifier. And with this new amplifier, we also aim to release uh, for academics or studies or research centers, like a, a bundle where we will use this amplifier to uh, give you like a, a microgrid PHL test bench. So um, this will be a pre-programmed, pre-integrated with models, uh, PHL test bench. Uh, the goal is like to observe like all the power flow to the system between the DER and the grids, as well as uh, testing different HIL. So if you want to uh, incorporate your own HIL in the main bus of the microgrid, you can test that, test island and modes um, studies. So Opal RT want to provide you like a, a test bench actually done and tested and stable to actually start your test by adding your uh, your algorithm or adding your real equipment to it. So the goal is to have like a, a mix like of real parts, which will be the amplifier. So uh, you can have real parts or like we can use our amplifier to simulate the whole grid and have a, a part that will be simulated inside. So let's say in here, we can have like the micro grid, the wind turbine and the battery that will be fully simulated on Opal RT system platform. And we have a uh, real parts when which can be uh, connected through our new amplifier or having a real, real system from, uh, from the customer. So this will be flexible depending on the, uh, the application of the customer. I think it's a really, really good package for like someone that wants to start in PHIL since it would be like packaged and tested internally at Opal RT before shipment. So this is all the new, uh, uh, since since we are truly developing new amplifier, I, I would like to remember, remind, remind you that actually we also work with suppliers. So we have a wide variety of supplier for PHIL. So under the 10 kilovar, we have Aotec One, Capco, Keysight. Uh, we also work with the mid-range power with Ametec, Ponovo, and Spitzenberger. And for the I power range with three phase extend, Presence Plus, and Regatron. So this is like just a sample of like uh, the commonly used uh, power amplifier that we use on our system. Um, but it's really, it's really important to, uh, for you to know that we have the expertise to package. So we develop a new amplifier for like a specific market, but for all type of uh, application, we can uh, connect to uh, other supplier. And if you have your own supplier, we can also create uh, the connection for this amplifier as well. Uh, for example, with the excellent three phase, we develop the driver for the uh, fiber optics connection. And for Ametec and Ponovo, we, uh, or all the rest, we use our uh, analog signals to, be, to connect and control them. Uh, f just for showing, like we have like a PHL accessory made to be connected directly to an analog control type of amplifier. So like this uh, product is already made uh, as a standard product to control two amplifier. Uh, and we have all the cables to connect like a wide variety of those amplifier, like the Chroma one or the Ametec. Uh, this provide you as well the high voltage and high current measurement. So like from, a, from off the shelf, you have this product that you can buy with your amplifier and that will help you to reduce the cost to uh, achieve your PHL without worrying about like getting your own uh, probe or high voltage current. As also, this uh, package gives you some uh, level of security since we have a watchdog. So we actually just monitor like the whole simulation. And if the simulation have any issue you want to cut, you can just cut the watchdog signals and actually will disable the amplifier. So it's a really great tool for the labs as well for third party supplier. So this is, uh, this is it for the presentation of the new products of Opal RT. So I would like to thank you for assisting this uh, PHL webinar. I hope that you learn a lot and uh, enjoy it. And uh, if you have a, some questions, don't forget, you can contact us at Opal RT Montreal or your account manager in your region. Thank you and have a good day.